Damn Ewan, back at it again with today this is a tutorial video all about today we're going to learn hatching, cross hatching, contour lines, gradients and stairs for fun. Oh, we'll, we'll check them off and we'll get you, get you all learned up, teach you how to do some shit. This is Mr. Guy. I put him together as like an example of, of um, much like a painting. It's usually a good idea to start with a, a, a mid tone, like an underpainting. Yeah, for um, uh, as as you would with a painting. So you might maybe do with. A drawing. So you've got your hatching of your mid-toe. That's that's a hatch line. Now you put in your cross hatching, which I know sounds like it would be an angry sort of hatching, but in fact isn't. These are flat hatch lines, which are just sort of flat flat lines, liney lines um, used. To, to cross hatch. Then once you've got your cross hatching, you can start to cross hatch your cross hatching. It's usually best to go one way, then the other, then you start going on the other axes like this, then maybe like this, and then, you know, go crazy to your heart's content. Fucking burn your house down, murder your family, just enough to give you that shadowy shadow technique yeah now i use ballpoint pens i'm known for it it's what i do um too too lazy to really learn how to properly use other equipment so i stick with these but they're also very good for hatching as you can get good gradients from dark to light with a you know a traditional drawing pen it's black lines and it's all dependent on how and where you put them whereas with this you can scribble from dark to light and it's all very fun and good. So that's that's your basic, most basic of hatchings. Contour lines, which is lines that match the contour of the shape you're hatching. Yeah, so if you've got a cylindrical object, such as a cylinder, rather than doing this, it might be better to do this to make your lines match. This is very poorly done, but you get the idea. Um, match the contour of, of what you're, you're shading to give you better, better uh, fucking shit. Yeah. You make the shape out of the lines rather than the, so if wet, or it, that's basically that. <laughs> I use lots of lots of little lines like this can often be very useful on small things like veins and tendons. Just putting these few lines in here straight away gives that more volume. It keeps it looks makes it look more raised up from the surface upon which it sits than it had previously looked, yeah. Some of that gives some shape and form. Um, and as you can see here, if you throw in a few single little ones to make it fade in so it goes in and out of the skin, then that's good too. Throw in your little corner shadow so it looks like it's going under the shirt or whatever. There, some more of the little hatch lines, some volume, some shit. And then that's all very nice. An important thing to remember is you always want to start your hatch in the darkest part and then fucking fling it up. Fling it. Fucking like this. You go fling. Fling it up towards the lighter part of whatever you're hatching. Um, as, as thus, say I want to put some shadow in this elbow. Start here and go fwing, fwing, 
boing, 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 and then cross, 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 c
and the different parts of the shape you are shading. And then go fucking wild. Just push hard with your ballpoint pen, as you can do, because it's a ballpoint pen. And then start darkening up some of those lower levels of shape. Just fucking scribble over the whole thing until it looks good. And if it doesn't look good, then fucking throw it out and start again. Who gives a shit? And then shade this bit differently. Only slightly differently because it's a separate sort of part. And then this bit too, and this bit too. Until you've got yourself a nice pleasant gradient. See how much more visually appealing that looks? Yeah. Contour, contour, contour. Contour, contour, contour. Contrast is important too. If it's all, you know, mid-tone, like this is kind of wishy-washy, but then you get some darker tones in there. Like life. If we were all one colour, one shade, it would look fucking boring and silly. It would look wishy washy. Especially if that was a particularly particularly pale shade of whatever colour. So you need the darker tones in there so that it all comes together to give character. One shade doesn't give character to another, but they all give character combined. So you don't say the darker... I'm talking about race right now, yeah? Race and ballpoint pens have saved the day again. Tendons here. Why not? Bigger hatches as you go down to add shadow. For some reason. And then contrast. There you go. Because they looked wishy-washy. Don't let your drawings get wishy-washy. Contrast. See, because these, they're leaning forward, so they're like that. So it's light here and dark here, because it's the light's coming from above, yeah. So let's see what we've learned. We've learned hatching. We've learned cross-hatching. We've learned contour lines. They were a thing. Gradients. And all the rest of it, I taught you so well. Give myself a star. Gold star for me. I hope this helped. Did it help you? Leave a comment. And then delete your comment and leave me alone. Fuck you.